The goal is going from here. To that big moment, just uh, imagine it in your head, full orchestra with the strings, you know, wooings up and down, the arp and the shh, all the big orchestra with the cymbal swells and the arp going up and down, and then all of a sudden, writer's block. It's like, okay, I see it perfectly in my head, how do I get there? It's gonna be sort of like a love theme or positive emotions type of thing. So the theme does like this. And then kind of like start again. Right? So it's in D kind of thing, right? G. the B. So this is the So now the da 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 So it's coming back to, to D all the time. So I want this to be big in orchestration. Let's do one pass with piano and strings real quick and then we'll orchestrate that a little bit bigger. So this to me is important before I start orchestrating because it's kind of like I figure out things and the harmonies and I added a few extensions and things that I like. It took me a few passes. You see, I wrote the melody and basic chords and I got rid of the chords and I rewrote kind of like the left hand a little bit. Yeah, melody and accompaniment, good enough in terms of balance. Melody sounds a little bit louder as it should. Cool, it works. So this could be kind of like the, the intro and then the second time around, we're gonna orchestrate this. So this is just to define the style real quick. Then melody, mostly with around chord tones. So basically the melody is part of the chord. We've got some passing tones and neighbor tones. Now, in terms of orchestration, what we're gonna see is basically piano and strings. Now, if we're gonna go a little bit bigger, then we will, we will start adding stuff on the melody. So for example, strings, like violins one, two in octaves, doing the melody. We're gonna need a little bit more of support maybe. So we're gonna need the violins, cellos, and double basses for sort of like the harmonies, the background material. We can go a little bit bigger. We can add woodwinds, doubling the strings melody to add a little bit of color or size. We can, in between the piano and strings and the strings doing the melody, we can also have sort of like a lyrical instrument like a solo flute or a solo violin doing the melody with a piano accompaniment or with a strings background type of thing and that's basically what this slide says. Harmonies can also be enhanced with the art playing arpeggios. Yes, very typical cliche of this style. The melody can be played by either lyrical solo instrument, what I said, that solo would be in the horn, the solo horn, piano, violin, cello. Celesta would be an alternative, yes, and the single string section by themselves. So if it's a little bit bigger, we can have the violins one doing the entire melody or if we want to go bigger, then we can have this combination of A and and B as you see here. So a strings and let's say a oboe or a flute doubling for color. Multiple upper string section in unison, octaves or double octave. And we can have violins one and two in unison or violins one and two in octaves or violins one, two viola in double octaves or we can have violins one dBs in violins two down an octave, so two octaves, things like this. Counter melodies, it's very common to have the horn section, it's very common. The English horn is like an oboe, so it sounds a little bit lower, it's a good good instrument. French horn is a brass instrument and they are in the same register. That is why they're great for counter melodies. You know, middle C and a little bit lower is a good register for them. So another frequent option would be the English horn, low register clarinet, great as well, just that doesn't project as much. It's beautiful sound down here in the same register as the English horn, but it's better for background stuff. Viola, perfect for this register, or the upper register of the cello, beautiful in this range. It sounds a little bit more tense, beautiful for that range and for counter 
melodies in this range or even to double the lower octave of the like double octaves of the main melody and finally fast runs in the upper woodwinds can be added as background fluture or air candy and this step by step is just a suggestion we're gonna go with direction first we've written the melody then we're gonna write the, the background that's what we've done we've written the background and then we enhance it with bass add the movement then the sparkle and the ear candy the goal is going from here To that big moment, just there, imagine it in your head, full orchestra with the strings, you know, woodwinds up and down, then 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 the arm and the shh, all the big orchestra with the cymbal swells and the arm going up and down, and then all the sudden, writer's block is like, okay, I see it perfectly in my head. How do I get there? Aha. Let's just have a step by step and let's get there. It's a suggestion, but let's just follow this and see how it works. So we're gonna go with the melody first, the strings CSS. So this guy here, just record the key switch, just that F sharp note that triggers that marcato legato, spiccato overlay on, off. I'm gonna keep it with the spiccato overlay all the time because with the lower velocity, I don't hear the spiccato and then if I need it, it's there. So I, I like it with the spiccato overlay. I'm bring this up an octave. And I'm gonna have violins two down an octave. So now we're gonna bring this copy violins two legato here. And these guys are gonna go down an octave for violins two. Let's see, all together. Key switch. Good starting point. So we've got the um, here, middle C here. It's a 12 seconds break. I wanted to ask you what do you want us to post next week. If you wonder how we come up with these videos, we generally read the comments. Then, based on your suggestions, we record the next videos for the next weeks. So, if I could ask you to just spend a couple of seconds and write down below the video what you'd like us to talk about next week, please do. It helps us. Tremendously. Thank you, and let's continue to the video. Make it cohesive and big and symbolize it, but not too much. So sometimes what you can do is like having some sort of like ensemble type of patch and layering that on top. I need to bring this down an octave. With, without. So, without. With. A little bit more of that symphonic feel to it. Now, it's not mandatory and it's not even realistic. It's like an, an extra stroke of a strings color on top of that. So now we're gonna add movement intensity. Very subtle, there's gonna be more stuff going on here. Yeah, 
just a tad more with the Celesta. Add the emotion, not the harmony yet, the bass. Oh, it's gonna be pizzicato. And maybe the cellos up an octave with a long note sort of thing. Yes, the cello is gonna come in here. Up uh, until here, mm, it's gonna do just bass notes. Obviously, you need to improve this. So now I'll have to add support to all this because it's like, oh, what's going on here? It's too much. I'm scared. I'm scared. So short counter melody and then kind of like joins the melody. So need any counter melody? Yes, we already did that. When is the harmony part coming? Wait for it. I still lacking energy. I know we're the big hits who bumps timpani. That's if it was like a, more like adventure. Maybe we can add some sort of like subtle percussion. Every piece should start with the soup bump. Too much, it's okay. So the last one, what I did is I brought this down and I pressed this note, so we, we can't hear anything, and then bring it out just for... Ah, it's a little too much, let me just... Something subtle, okay. Viola's up there. All right, we're not gonna have epic toms and things like this, but we can have a little bit of timpani hits here and there to soup to add a little bit of clarity to the double basses pizzicatos. Very subtle, and I don't even want to hear it. But I'm gonna make sure that all the notes kind of stay in the same volume, velocity. I'm gonna bring them down a tad. The second, no need the second one. The third, need to start a little bit earlier. That's the moment where the woodwinds are gonna come in. So, ta -da -da three, the second time with the cello, we need a little bit of brightness because the cello is masking a little bit of those higher frequencies. So we're gonna enhance them naturally with orchestration. And so we're gonna have the flute here. Piccolo low register. I have the clarinet with the string just to add a little bit of color, but I don't want the brightness till that flute moment. So I'm gonna have the clarinet, it's an instrument that blends more than the flute, and it's gonna be in the lower registers.
And you see how I haven't gone to the higher note because uh, it can perfectly, but I don't want to go in that register with clarinet. Now I'm going to double the same thing with the oboe, the upper octave. So we've got the percussion. A little bit of this, this shape that adds a little bit of life to this kind of like shaker thing. needs to be a little bit more subtle. Yeah, we could now, da -da -da, just, uh, just a few arp glissandos and things like this. So maybe here. And now we have to do the same thing, but with these guys. it works we just need to move it a little bit here okay i'm gonna stop here i could continue let's uh take a listen to the entire thing Alright, so this is it. Hey, in the last video many people asked about mixing, mastering, production tips. So what we've done is we included in the link below one of our paid mixing courses and we included it for free for you. Now as we were putting that link together we thought why don't we give you more stuff. So we also included the list of sample libraries that I use, my template so you can copy it, lots of film scores that I analyzed and reduced for you and also just so you have access for everything that we've got for 30 days in that link you will also also get for free a trial to our I'm a Composer membership where we also by the way include our best momentum classes so go grab it it's just there for a limited time even if you don't need it now it's gonna be great reference material in the future click the button below and get access for free for life that's all from me other than that thanks for your time you're amazing I hope that you got some value or at least it was entertaining we'll continue to bring more videos and more free stuff for you so you grow as a composer I'll see you in the next video bye